Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for stopping by and welcome to the very first episode of Chasing Waterfalls. We are Bill the Dream, and in this series, we journey to various waterfalls and name the most notable landmarks along the way. Today, we travel to Ravencliff Falls, located right outside of the infamous Helen, Georgia. But is this hike worth a timely visit? Find out on this episode of Chasing Waterfalls. Alright, so listen. If you're gonna do this hike, the most important thing is make sure it's rained a fair amount so that the river's up. Mini Falls! If you do want to go down to the rock near Mini Falls, it's extremely slippery, so you have to be careful. Whoa! I'm sliding. Maybe this isn't a good idea. So just after Mini Falls, the rapids. What we both love about this trail right now is how close all of the landmarks are, how easy the trail is, because yeah. as you can see, it's just straight. You're just walking on essentially a road, no ups and downs really. Yeah, I mean, there, there's some like edges where you have to be careful, yeah. but all, the, all of the landmarks are really close together. They're really cool. And on top of that, um, yeah, they're close together and cool. Look at that. I know. What is, dude, this is like a mystical place. Look at this mystical water. The mystical water. You don't understand what's ahead. Malloy doesn't want to make this a landmark. You don't. But this is the mystical water. Here's the deal. Look at this mystical water. Look. Look, it's from a mini waterfall, world's most mini waterfall, and the water is mystical. Look at that. Mystical water really was a landmark for me. That water is mystical. And it is a landmark, Malloy. I disagree. It's so insane. If you look at these trails, it's just, it's very simple, easy hike, and it has some of the best views in North Shore. And you can take it at your own pace. Like if you're with family and you have small children, obviously you're not gonna be going off to the edge of the waterfall, right? And especially if you love rivers, the entire trail is next to a river. So this is the Chattahoochee River, which comes off of Helen. So you can see it's right up here. 
You just gotta walk down right here, and that's gonna lead you to Midway Falls. This get a little narrow, but it just leveled off. Right after. <laughs> <laughs> so not even 600 feet after you pass Midway Falls, Big Brother. is this ridge right next to it. You can like sit down on these roots, sit down on this rock, make sure to stay away from the edge. So literally just past Big Brother, not even 150 feet maybe, you have another campsite you can get to. Cross the creek right here. You can almost cross it here, but there's a little opening right there. So you're literally right next to the trail, but you got your own little piece of paradise. So I've decided to quit my job and become a full time rapper. Uh, good luck. So when you see this trail split from left to right, we're looking for a waterfall. Follow the one closest to the stream. Hey, here's another campsite. Come check it out. Man, campsites everywhere. And we have some sacred rock formations. <laughs> so the great thing about this trail is it's so close to Helen you can literally plan a day to go up to Helen do some mini golf some tubing get in a hike it only takes an hour it's the same
So the cliff basically splits into two and the waterfall comes down right through the middle. You could see when we were down there, right in the middle of it, it's like a cave with a waterfall, it's insane. Not even 10 minutes outside Helen, Ravencliff Falls, very, very easy hike with some of the nicest and most beautiful waterfalls that I've seen in North Georgia. It's only like an hour long, um, so it's really easy. I mean, you could take your pets and your small children. Just an epic ending to an amazing trail.